Welcome everybody. Tonight we're looking at METX. This one's down by 9% today. We're talking about why, what has happened and what are we seeing right now for the stock. Because bear in mind from yesterday we are seeing a little bit of a rise actually but now we're giving back all of those profits. So the question is what has happened and why are we in the position that we are in? Well of course I am not a financial advisor and this is not going to be financial advice but I do want to share a few of my personal opinions in this video. Do remember though this is only my personal thoughts and like I said it's not advice, it's not something that you should follow, it's just what I personally believe. But if you do enjoy it, subscribe, like the video, it does help us a lot. Now we are also doing a fundraiser right now for Save the Children. If you can donate anything, 100% of the funds do go straight towards Save the Children and the fundraiser is ending on Christmas Eve so hopefully we'll have raised a nice amount of money to help the most vulnerable people in our world. But now we're going to jump into this video. So like I said, what has happened with this stock? Because coming in from yesterday, things were looking relatively okay. You will see we had a mixed day, but coming towards the very, very end of session, we had that big spike up, and right now we're starting to see another dip. So let's have a quicker look, let's have a closer look on the one day chart, on the simple chart as well, at what we are seeing. Open up on 55. 14 you'll see from there we had a decrease which the second lowest point was down here at 5031 and from there you will see we actually had fairly okay consolidation up until this point here i would say about quarter past if not half past two now yes of course we had a bit of a spike and a bit of a dip in that time period but really we did say around the same level which is good but from this you know high that we saw from the consolidation we actually had a dip down which didn't really stop at the levels that we previously have found support at we dropped lower and lower and our actual low of the day was down here just a little bit lower than that almost touching the 50 cent range exactly at 50.02 so right now we're starting to see it come back up from there at 50.13 but really it's not enough to bring us into the green as we are still down by 5 cent. So yeah this stock is only worth 50 cents so a 5 cent drop is actually quite significant and it is important to remember that. And in the past five days, when we zoom out to that, you'll see things are still looking mixed. We are ultimately dropping. From the highs, you'll see we're at 73 cent, right now at 50. Now, things were looking good, like I said, for the later part of yesterday. We had a big spike up, but this actually was given back into today. And if we do look at where we are, we are on a very similar level to where we were in the mid part of yesterday. Because you'll see, at some points into yesterday, especially this low down here, we were sat on the 49 cent range, just above where we are right now. So we did have that spike up, like I said, which took us up to 55 mark, if not higher. But now we're giving that back, and we're coming back to that same level. So my question now for the stock is... Where is our next level of consolidation going to be? And what I have said with a lot of these stocks, and I do believe it is also the case with this one, we've had this big spike up very, very quickly. We're, we're looking to find that new level of consolidation. Now, luckily with this particular stock, we do have a bit more data to go off because you will see it was previously valued at this point about three months ago. I think when we zoom out to that chart, we'll see one thing is clear and it was apparent yesterday to an extent that it was apparent back here as well. We're seeing a lot of consolidation at the 50 cent mark and yes, sometimes we did touch just below it like we did yesterday but yeah but 50 cent does appear to be a relatively okay level bear in mind all of this consolidation was at 50 we didn't really drop below it we found some support at 50 which is nice i do want our next level of support to be at 50 here as well so that would mean that we are very very close to the bottom i hope it is the case again we have dropped just below it for some points into today uh, but still things are looking very very good and again hold up to 50 and the potential to go for a small rise is still there. So how would I personally play this stock? For me, I would play this one as either a day trade or a swing trade. I do see how some people may want to invest in this one long term. I do see the potential benefits of that. But from where I am standing, I think the money to be made in this stock, in my eyes, is going to be in the short to mid term, i.e. profiting from small rises. So for example, if we do hold the level of 50 cent, potentially buying at some point around here and selling at a level a bit higher, you know, the high 50 cent range, 55 or something like that. I think that is also possible for a day trade. I think that would be fairly good. And again, for a swing trade, it does depend on what your sentiment is. So for a swing trade, it would require a bit more commitment. So potentially buying in at that 50, at that 50 cent level of support and looking for a level to sell a bit higher. Again, that's not financial advice. And it's definitely something that I would not follow, but it's just something that we could possibly be looking at for an example. Now come out to the data for the past five days and you'll see a few things are clear for this. 
We're sat at an RSI figure of 39, which really is a little bit low, so we are definitely coming a bit closer to being oversold. Now, are we near to oversold yet? Not really. We have about 20 points to go until we are technically oversold, and we have about 11 points to go until we are technically neutral. But it definitely is dropping lower and lower and lower. We do want to see this one come back up to being closer to 50 as time does go on, because 50 is our level of neutral. Now another thing that we can see in the past five days, because we really haven't had too much movement overall, we are still sat on a moving average of just above the 50 point one two mark you can see just a pink tab is sticking out over the top so we're very very close to that initial level uh you know where we are right now but we do want to see this one uh, you know move up in the future because seeing consolidation is fair it's okay and given the moving average time to catch up is very good but obviously we do want to see a spike up because it's all good to see consolidation we are still looking for the next move up to put us in a better position so a few other things i want to highlight today are going to be things like our volume figure, our RSI figure for the one month, and also our MACD trend for the one month as well. Look at our volume figure today, it is relatively low. You can see the volume candles both here on the top and here on the bottom as well, and you'll see how high volume was when we had these big spikes up, and how high volume has been recently. Now in the past day you will see the volume candle is not even noticeable, it is so small. We're on 55.02 million, which is actually relatively low for the stock. And volume is, of course, a big driver of move. See more volume come back into the stock, and we will have that potential to move up. And it is something that I have said with a lot of these stocks, whether it be uh, PHUN, whether it be Mark, we need the volume to come back into these ones if we do want to see it spike up again. Because, yes, a lot of people have bought the stock. Yes, a lot of people are holding the stock. But holding the stock only keeps it at the level that it is right now. What pushes it up, of course, is buying pressure. So that is something that we need to see re-enter if we want to see another big push up, in my opinion. Anyway, a few of the other things that we want to highlight is going to be things like our RSI at 56. That is fairly good. It's actually very, very close to neutral. And it was actually a little bit higher when we had this big spike up. So seeing this one come back down to a level that is more acceptable is fantastic. So we've given the RSI in the one month that time to cool off now, and I'm very, very happy with it. It didn't really come very close to uh, overbought anyway. It, it was touching it almost, but it wasn't too close, so that's not too big of a deal. But yeah, the fact it's coming back down is had that time to cool off, and it is in a level right now, which is very nice. And our trend for the MACD is looking mixed. Overall, you can see the staircase is stepping down and down and down, which is an indication of a bearish trend. And come out here to our actual you know, lines up here, which are coming very, very close together. Now, the closer these lines to come, come together, the more likely they are to cross over. And once these lines start to cross over, that is an indication of a full bearish trend. Because what you'll notice is that, yes, we have these candlesticks stepping down. That is a very early indication on the MACD of a bearish trend. But once we have these lines start to cross over, we're looking at a significantly more bearish trend, in my opinion. So that's just a few of my thoughts on the stock. Again, be very, very careful. But going forward into the next few days, I want to see that level of 50 hold up, if not 49. I do want to see, hopefully, a bit of a bounce from there. We've, of course, seen consolidation here before, but that's all well and good. But we really want to see this move up continue into the next couple of days after we have had such a big drop down. So tell me what you have to say down below. Thank you for watching this one, though. See you all tomorrow. Goodbye. Well, thank you for watching through till the end. But let me tell you about our Discord. So on your screen, you will be seeing the N2S Finance Discord. Obviously, it is split into multiple sections. Basically, at the top, we have updates from me and all that kind of good stuff. If you scroll down a bit further, we have the main sections where we focus on cryptos, SPACs, and other hot stocks, including penny stocks, even stable growth stocks as well. And we even have a special AMC GME chat. If you scroll down, you can see some research and DD from the community. We also have funny memes, and you can see actual contributions from many members down here and again if you do join us it is a completely free link is down below but if you do want to become a patreon you will actually get a pink uh, sticker which will be displayed on your name so your name will come up in pink as mine comes up in red down here and that will show that you are a patreon but other than that guys you can join completely for free down below you do not have to pay anything if you do not want to thank you for watching see you soon